Have you ever done anything that was reactive and by the time you realize it, which is sometimes almost instantaneously, you realize how dumb and stupid you have and you did and what you did was just like, oh my word, can I take this back, please? No, it's too late. You can't take it back. It's out of the bag. It's been let loose. And all you can do is say, please forgive me. That was just the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. Yes, we've all done that. Mm -hmm. Right here. I have done it too many times to count. And I'm sure uh, Peter did the same thing too many times to count. Well, we're going to talk about one of those things that uh, Peter did that he wished he could take back. And at the same time, Jesus, Jesus used it as this wonderful, teachable moment. So, with all that said, I invite you to turn in your Bibles to Matthew chapter 16. We're going to start at verse 21, pretty much where we left off last week. Um, it is the foundation, these verses we're going to read are the foundation of my sermon for this morning which will be uh, in-house, 1030, here in our sanctuary. Please don't forget to bring your masks. We're going to do the social distancing and everything else that we need to do. Pardon me, physical distancing, not social, but physical distancing. Please plan on being here with us in-house. And if you're not, we still have the worship going out towards you. Twitch.tv slash FLChurch. That is our website for live streaming and to come be a part of that online with us this morning, starting at 10.30. And la one last thing before we actually dive into the text, which is allowing you to get there. Uh, if you don't have a Bible, email me, Pastor Robert at faithhuntsville.org. Uh, message me on uh, Facebook through our Facebook page. Uh, send me a note through our uh, YouTube page if you, when you're watching these things. And let me know if you need one, and I can send you some recommendations, either by means of electronic or paper, uh, whichever you prefer. So, Matthew 16, verse 21, here we go. From that time, now remember, from that time, Jesus had just um, praised Peter, in a sense for recognizing, or at least his faith, revealed to him by the Father, that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the living God. Boom! Yes! Peter is writing a high note. And then from that time, here's 21, from that time Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall never happen to you. But he turned to Peter and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. Hmm. Get to that in a minute. You are a hindrance to me, for you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man. Can you imagine having Jesus rebuke you? Absolutely, I can imagine it. He does it to me all the time. And he also gives me his grace. Get into that in a minute. But here is Peter. One day, one day, it took him to go from wonderful revelation to foot in his mouth and wishing he was going to take that foot right out of his mouth and never say those words again. Yes, done the same thing. I'm sure there are many of you, if not all of you, who have done the same thing said something faith-filled, miraculously inspired by God, and then turn around and you act so human. Hmm. Well, Peter reacts to Jesus. And what does Jesus call him? Shatan, Satan, the adversary, the one against me. That's why he also added the fact, you are a hindrance to me. You're putting yourself in my way. Get out of my way. Peter, or better probably said, get out of your own way, Peter. 
You're thinking of yourself. You're thinking of man. Think about this a minute. Peter, in one sense, by confessing that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the living God, is expressing his love and dedication to Jesus. There is no doubt that Peter loved Jesus. Not a doubt in the world. And that's what caused Peter to say what he did. Was it right because he loved Jesus? No, it wasn't right. We do stupid things because we love people sometimes. We don't think. We react. We're impulsive. We are, ah, no, no, that's not right. Been there, done that. But here's the kicker. Peter missed something. He missed it. Did you miss it? Did you see it? Did you hear it? Let's go back to verse 21 again. What I want you to do is listen for what Peter missed and what maybe you missed. From that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised. Hmm, did you miss it the first time? Peter did. Peter missed it. And to be raised, isn't that wonderful? To be raised. Jesus was not going to die. He was going to die and rise. Wow. Jesus was going to die to forgive you and me, and even Peter, and everyone to forgive them of all of their sins and to rise to give them new life. Now know that and how does that inspire us? And then Jesus, after that split moment, Jesus took the opportunity to, as I will call it, a teachable moment. That's coming up in the sermon this morning. So be please, you know, if you want to be here, can be here, uh, be here at uh, Insight. Don't forget your face coverings, your shields, your masks. Bring them with you. It's a great opportunity to be in the house, to be with one another. Physical distance, of course. Social distance, spatially distance, no. So let us continue to gather. And if you can't or not choosing at this time, and that's perfectly okay. Check us out, twitch.tv slash flchurch. Be with us in worship with us. This morning, we are also celebrating Holy Communion. Uh, if uh, you want to know what communion is all about, check out the video. It's on YouTube about teaching about Holy Communion. Check it out. See what it's all about for us as well as uh, check out any other video that we got on YouTube, as well as on Facebook, as far as these videos. Check us out what we're doing. Like them, share them, comment on them. Great. Let's, let's engage in conversation around Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, who was to be crucified, die, be buried, and rise to give us life. That's why he did it. So, look forward to seeing you later this morning. You guys have a great Sunday morning, great start uh, to end to the week and a beginning to the next. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. You guys have a great one. Bye-bye.